garages, uh, anything exterior is applicable because it is IP65 and it is watertight. Uh, the typical assembly that we have, the single four footer is about 17,000 lumen. The 250 watt is two of these that are linked together. And then the 375 watt is three of them. And we'll show you some bracketry coming up at the end when we do some hands on. So getting into the kind of the meat and potatoes of the fixture itself, of course, again, each bar is 125 watt. We go one, two, or three is typical. We can go more. Uh, we've actually gone up to 10 for just a little over 170,000 lumen fixture. So the bracketry changes, but we can link them all together. Uh, again, they're IP65. There's no issues there. They do come with a pendant for aircraft cable mounting that you see in the photo. Uh, we do have a five-year warranty. The The difference we have in our warranty is if one or two of the diodes cut out, you can tell a difference. We do not require a 20% failure rate to replace the fixture. We'll send you a new fixture uh, sit with a return label to send the old one back so you can replace it at the same time and not have to do two things. Um, and again, that is good for five years. You can see in the fixture here, it's very smooth. So there's no pockets for water, dust, or debris to gather onto. Um, and then we'll go over some of the other features that it has here in just a few minutes. The aircraft cable mounting is what standard is what we have. If you do have other options that you're requiring, just let us know. We can get pretty creative on options that we can put on the bracketry. Uh, I will step in a little closer to see the, so you can see the fixture. So typically it's two runs of diodes. This particular one is a 5K unit. We won't plug it up now because the, the camera probably won't like it too well. They do come zero to 10 Deming. So if you don't need the two dimming wires you see here in the red and yellow, you can just snip them off. Then it traditionally comes with the regular ground neutral and hot. Um, getting into the bracketry. So this is actually a uh, sample of what the triple fixture would be. It also has the aircraft cable hangers that you come standard with it. Uh, they'll mount all three together on this bracket. We do include an IP65 tie-in box that'll go on top. You have the three entries for the uh, wires of the fixtures. On the back, you have your main feed, and then you have a motion sensor. We do have a motion sensor for this fixture. Uh, it's actually a, uh, it would go into your hole there, and it is IP65 as well. The unique thing about these is they're programmable. It'll be hard to tell uh, in the camera, but there's a little set of toggle switches you'll see here going across. You can set your motion sensitivity, your step down dimming. And this particular motion sensor also has a uh, daylight harvesting adjustment as well. So some of the applications we've done with this fixture already is we've gone into a boiler room that actually cooks uh, bullion uh, seasoning. It's done very well. We use 10 fixtures. The room is about a 30 by 60 uh, room, 20 foot ceilings, and we average at about 50 foot candles. So it does put a good punch out on the, ground, on the floor. We've done a poultry processing plant uh, one of their uh, distribution warehouses, again, done very well. It is washed down. So if you have any situations with grime or anything getting on the fixture, there's nothing wrong with taking a pressure washer and cleaning it off. And then we've done just traditional warehouses. With these being like they are, you do, again, there's no cavities. So anything that you have to wash down, nothing sticks to it. Uh, everything is polycarbonate. So the lens here on the fixture itself, if it gets hit by a forklift or by something that would get jumped, would get kicked up, uh, you'd have no shatter effect. So it might uh, crack it, but it's not gonna shatter and, and get any material into the ground. Other options we have for these, again, we can do, we stock the four and the 5K, we can do three, uh, pretty much up to the end user. Uh, this again, does have the motion sensor. Uh, it's not, if it's not needed, it would be a different box without that uh, particular entry and was just checking to see if there's any questions. Any questions, just hit the Q&A. Uh, we'll be very happy to answer them. And otherwise, everybody have a good day. I'm gonna stay on here for a little longer just to make sure there is no questions uh, and just let us know. Reach out to Justin McCloskey, who is our inside guy. Uh, he's actually on here as well. Uh, and then uh, we'll answer it accordingly.
And we also, I was just reminded, this is a four foot section. If you need longer sections, uh, we only have four foot in this one, but we do offer six and eight foot now with our OB light bar that we did the uh, training session for last week. Uh, we did just come out with an eight footer actually this week. So we do have longer versions of different fixtures if need be. All right, Robert, it, uh, we do have one question here. Uh, Frank with Wharton Sales is asking if it is NEMA 4 rated. So, yes, if you have to, if you need the NEMA 4, we're the NEMA 4 and the NEMA 4X. If you need that approval, we can list that on the data sheet for you, which we're working on adding now uh, and updating our data sheets with the new listings. But yes, you are approved for that. Any other questions? And uh, just while we're waiting on questions, we do have these in stock. Uh, we are working through the new norm of the virus. Uh, we're shipping out as normal. Uh, we have workers in the warehouse that's working accordingly. Uh, so if you need anything besides this here, we can ship uh, with material that we have in-house in because we are uh, live and still going. All right, a question here from Ted Lawson uh, with Federated. He's asking what the toughest scenario we have these installed in. So the toughest scenario probably is that bullion uh, boiler room. Uh, the temperatures are above 160 degrees uh, over top the actual stacks. So this one here has lasted, we've been in there for about seven months now uh, with no issues, no crack lensing lenses. And the big thing with these, and we noticed a lot of these on all our fixtures, is there's no yellowing on the lens. So no cracks, no yellowing because it's a polycarbonate. So it is resistant to those fixtures or to those uh, situations. The other thing we are with this one, it is natatorium listed as well, as most of our fixtures are. Uh, they are resistant to the corrosive materials, and we do warranty it um, as a regular uh, install, even though it may be in salt or chlorine. And our next webinar will be in two weeks. Um, believe it's on the sports light. Uh, so, Invites will be coming out next week. At same, uh, be the same time, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, on this same web webinar format. All right, well, I haven't seen any questions pop up for a while. So wanna thank everybody for their time. Again, please feel free to reach out to Justin uh, with any questions or uh, any, anything else on any other orders. And we'll be sending out a copy of this recording uh, that you can absolutely send out to your customers or any end users that you would like. And we'll have those links so probably within the next day or two sent to your files. And thanks again, everybody stay healthy and stay safe. And hopefully we will see everybody next on the next webinar two weeks from today.